guys. Hi. Hello, how are you? Well, I've enjoyed my time here. It's a great family atmosphere for a business. While your food is amazing, I, I think what's here is more than food. It feels like it's an experience. Mm -hmm. And it seems like you've had good success using your gut, and I commend you for it. But you guys have built a million dollar business that happens to be open three days a week. Yeah. But the food costs are, are the problem that I see more than anything. Mm -hmm. And you will it's not my decision whether you're involved in the business or we not. We understand that. But with all due respect, it's still cloudy for me what your role is, and maybe you can help clean that up for me. My goal all along is just to help them. Building the business here and then going out. What I'll do you plan to do here? Do you see sure. yourself working in the kitchen? A, it depends on what the deal is that you all do. Why would the deal that we make determine what your role is going to be? It has to make sense for, for, for myself and my wife to uproot our lives and come over to South Carolina. We need to be able to know that we can grow with it. Okay. The business today, before you paid yourself, mm -hmm. made $145,000. After you took your salary, it really only made $45,000. Any salary that you give out to anybody, family or not, could take that number from 45 plus to 45 negative. What I'm really buying into is the potential of what's there. So my vision really is to have it feel like a real destination. People in the, in the dining room, they come from a, a decent distance, 30, 40, 50 miles. And the better the destination, the further they'll come wow. from. I want to build a general store, putting products in that general store that are within our scope. And so I'm willing to put up a half a million dollars into the business. And we'll use that half a million dollars to have working capital, to build out the general mm -hmm. store, mm -hmm. to build a deck along the back mm -hmm. so that we can have overflow seating. But the property that this building sits on has to be inside the business. Because making an investment in the restaurant business, as you guys know, is... It is, it's, 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 it's risky. It's, it's risky. It is. And so I'm going to want 40% of the business. In addition to that, I want the distribution rights for the biscuits. I really want to take them to the next level. I want to get that thing in as many grocery stores yeah. as I can, as fast as I can. Because I think the biscuit is actually the money maker. The profits would work the same as our other deal. You have 60, I have 40. I just want to control the process. I'm sorry. A hundred percent. I'm going to help you ultimately leave something for Schuler. You had a number in your head where yeah, you wanted to be. We honestly had talked about on the percentages as 35% being a kind of a place we'd like to stop. But my first offer is always my I've best read, offer. I've read that about you. Can I have about two minutes with her outside the door just a second? Okay. Yeah. Oh, my knee got stiff. You know, it's a big leap for my wife and I to come back. Mm -hmm. like, I, I keep going back to it. It makes sense for us. It's got to. We know where our salaries are together. And how much is that? It's over 200. You know, it's always hard giving up a percentage of something you built. God said, I'll take care of you. And Jenny and you all can come home. All right, let's go for it. All right. We have a deal? We got a deal. My $500,000 offer is going to go towards paying off the $86,000 mortgage that exists. The remaining $414,000 is going to go directly towards the expansion of the facility, enhancing the amount of seating by building a deck and a general store. I'm relieved because I feel like now we can really take this place and go with it. You worked hard for it. I did. Both of you worked hard yeah. for it. I say it's time to get to work. I what do you think say? so too. All right.